Um, those are my questions, and I, I wanted to bring others into this space because um, the commission now does have under law the authority to address more extensively issues of environmental justice, and um, par environmental justice involves two, two parts. It's ensuring that there isn't a, a disparate negative impact on certain groups and populations, but it also includes a process aspect to it that that those very people that are disproportionately negatively impacted, that they're, they be part of the process. And unfortunately, when it comes to people of color and low-income people, they have very little access to these meetings for various reasons. So um, in, in the most minor of ways, I just want to bring them into the room just by numbers, which is really the, the most inadequate way. But if we look at just the community of Oceano, the San Luis Obispo County demographic um, shows that the county as a whole has 21% um, Latino versus Oceano, which has 48%. Um, the county of San Luis Obispo, um, the median um, uh, disability um, of those under um, age 65 is only at 6.5%, where, whereas for Oceano it's at 11%. Um, people under age 65 without health insurance, the um, average in San Luis Obispo County is 8%, and the uninsured rate in Oceano is 32%. Um, in terms of the poverty, persons living in poverty, the average in San Luis Obispo County is 14%, and the average in Oceano is 20%. Um, so uh, those that are most immediately impacted um, who are not able to be here today are clearly low income, uh, uninsured, people of color, and um, in addition, it, the air quality is of, of issue to every single human being and every living thing, um, but it is an environmental injustice um, uh, in this case clearly for people of color and low income people uh, in the vicinity.